In my last video, I encouraged you to acknowledge how much you actually do know so that your self-respect could increase even more. Essentially, I used Shulman's knowledge basis to talk about the broad kinds of knowledge that teachers have. I also mentioned that those were not the only kinds of knowledge that teachers possess. Knowledge is broadly divided into two categories, which are formal and informal knowledge. Formal knowledge is the kind of information that we get from any formal source. This could be books, university or college courses, lectures and seminars and that kind of thing. Included in this category would be Shulman's knowledge base of content knowledge. This knowledge could also be referred to as information because it is acquired through formal means and we do not really interact with it. It's the kind of information that we ask from children when we ask questions that have only right or wrong answers. Informal knowledge could also, I suppose, be called social knowledge. We gain this from experience and it happens outside of formal learning structures. COVID-19 has resulted in major leaps in informal learning for our teachers. Our colleagues have shared their expertise with us in terms of online learning, and we have grappled and grown without attending formal courses in how to deliver online lessons. We've also learned a great deal about the virus itself. We know where in the world it came from, how it spread, how to prevent ourselves from being infected, and we even know what the virus looks like. And all of this without attending a single course or lecture on the subject. Informal knowledge happens very naturally in conversations, in passages, in moments with friends and in social discourse. It is actually a part of our daily lives and often the knowledge that we gain is very useful to us. Some people even believe that it is more relevant than the learning that happens in formal settings. Just think about that. Shulman's knowledge base of context, the learner, pedagogical content knowledge and the self are all acquired informally while we are busy teaching. And in this case, learning on the job. This is one where the teachers really are lifelong learners. We gain informal knowledge on an almost daily basis. Human beings are very social animals and learning from each other happens fairly spontaneously. It is for this reason that class discussions, when they are focused and well managed, can lead to important learning for our children. During these sessions, they discuss information, grapple with it, personalize it and create personal and meaningful knowledge. Explicit knowledge is also a kind of knowledge. It is something that we know that we know and we can easily talk about. It is accessible, expressible and more importantly, it can be stored for the future. On the other hand, tacit knowledge is more personal and is often gained through experience. It is something that we sometimes find difficult to express and we say things like, I don't know how I knew that, I just did. It's the knowledge that we have when we feel that a lesson is going really well or when we just know that something is missing in a lesson. Tacit knowledge can be intuitive and can be an insight and is often the knowledge that we use when we make quick judgments. This kind of knowledge is obviously very important for teachers who make quick decisions hundreds of times a day. You never thought about that before, did you? and we can develop tacit knowledge by heightening our awareness while we are in action in the classroom or when we are reflecting on our experiences afterwards. The more aware we are, the easier it is for us to develop this extremely important form of knowledge. I've spent time discussing with you the knowledge that you already have because I think it's so important to acknowledge how much you really know about your craft. Very few people are aware of the incredible work that is done quietly every day 
and the little miracles of learning that happen when a child suddenly understands and knows something. Those shining eyes, those sudden smiles, okay, they're behind masks, but we know they're there. And so I acknowledge you as a knowledge-rich maker of tomorrow. I salute you as a worker of miracles. And I ask you very sincerely to take care of yourself and stay safe. I'll see you again.